Hey, ke, hey, ke, hey, ke, hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'm going to show you on how to load worlds inside of Vinyan. So let's go ahead and get started. So to start off simple, you can load worlds easily by going to the left side of Vinyan and clicking on load world. And then basically, which I should have video edited on screen, there should be a folder in Vinyan called worlds. You can put your world files in there or basically choose based off the default worlds. You can choose it from there. And basically you can load worlds such as club world here. You can load a concert stage here, which uh, looks like this basically. Wow. Um, you can even load a nature world here. Or you can even load a green screen world just by the um, just by the default uh, Vinyan worlds that do exist basically. So you can choose whichever one you prefer basically. But let's say we want to have it where maybe the world loads by default or maybe we have a hotkey to change the world. How do we do that? Well, what we got to do is we're going to click on the node graphs here. Then what you're going to do is here, uh, click on add new graph. Then what you're going to do is you're going to look for the hotkey uh, node here like this. Click on hotkey. Or if you're a Stream Deck user, you may want to use WebSockets, which I have a separate tutorial on how to do WebSockets or Stream Deck stuff inside of Vinyan. Then what you're going to do is you're going to type in world. Once you have that, then you're going to click on the action node that says load world. And you can basically have it where you can have two separate, uh, sort of, you know, two separate things that, you know, two hotkeys for loading a world. So you can have one that loads, let's say, club world and one that loads concert world. Or maybe you can even have another node that loads the default world. So if you want to get back to your normal transparency, basically, you can have it where it can load the default. So I'll press one and then it should load this world. Then you can press number two, um, which I wish I, I hope that didn't break. I think it broke. Oopsies. Well, that's fine. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, it's about the load concert world, but whatever. Uh, and then you press on... Oh, that's right. I, I messed up that button. Okay, so I, I misregistered that. Haha. <laughs> so you can load the concert world, and then uh, you can do that. Double check to make sure your hotkeys are separate. Because if it's the same one, then it's going to override each other. But either way, though, that's pretty much how you can load worlds and such. You can even have it where on the world loaded, you can have stuff like confetti. So... So here on confetti here, I can have this basically. So when the world is loaded, we can have confetti. La! So yeah, um, I, I, I heard the loud confetti from my headphones. But yeah, but that you can basically do that. La! So yeah, so you can pretty much do that. And uh, you can even have it where on application start. You can have a world loaded by default. So I can have this world loaded by default. And that way I can have all this stuff basically. So pretty much you can do it however you want basically. You can even create custom worlds, which I do have. Um, I actually do have a tutorial on how to create custom worlds uh, with Sweet Home 3D and how you can port it into Vigna. Well, uh, I not with Sweet Home 3D, but I did use an example world that I previously made. So, um... Basically, I have I have at least two tutorials on uh, world creation stuff, basically. So you can check out those tutorials if you wish, though. But otherwise, though, that's pretty much it regarding worlds, though. You could definitely do a lot more with it. But it's really up to your expertise in Unity. What do you want? Everyone's different, basically. But yeah, if you have any other questions, please join the video Discord server. Um, or you can ask me any questions. Or you can request a tutorial and such. And yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely day. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to get access to extra perks and further support me and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake memberships. Otherwise though, just you guys watching is just enough support for me and I appreciate every ounce of it. So, either way though, I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!